A scary ending to a high speed chase caught on camera in Tempe yesterday. Police were chasing the red SUV you see there on the freeway. The driver identified as Mitchell Timothy Tabell turned off onto a busy street. He then drove into oncoming traffic, slamming head on. You're going to see it right here. Wow. Uh, into another vehicle near an intersection. Tabell then got out of the smashed up SUV and started walking around. He was arrested and taken away in an ambulance with minor injuries. A 47 year old woman was hurt in that crash. Her injuries are not life threatening, we're told. Now, Bianca Buono says Tabell is an actor who lives in Los Angeles, and police say he's no stranger to law enforcement. The man police say is responsible for this 60 mile wild chase across the valley, defending his actions. They were attempting to make a stop without probable cause or reasonable right. suspicion. On his way into the 4th Avenue jail, Mitchell Timothy Tabell telling reporters DPS had no reason to pull him over in the first place. I called 911. Police telling a different story. So he was being stopped for a moving traffic violation. 12 News briefly speaking with Tabell's mother over the phone. She tells us the 31 year old lives in Los Angeles and works as an actor. I'm the district attorney assigned to the case. His social media pages and website showcasing some of his work. I haven't come across anyone man enough to go toe to toe with me on my best day. But his website also featuring a number of lawsuits he's allegedly involved in. In one case, Tay Bell appears to be claiming $250 million from the city of Los Angeles because he says he was arrested without probable cause. The same thing he told reporters here in Arizona. They were attempting to make a stop without probable cause. In a video posted to his YouTube channel, he also claims to be anti-government. The federal government of America is uh, has plenty of issues. DPS officials saying Tay Bell is no stranger to police. Our suspect does have an extensive criminal history of both violent felony convictions and misdemeanor convictions in several states.